It's like a scene from the film The Matrix. Deep within the bowels of the University of Southampton lies a mind-bogglingly advanced creation that could change the way many of us live and work. This powerful and noisy supercomputer is being used on a wide range of projects, from designing quieter, cleaner aircraft to tackling climate change. It's even trying to find the origins of the universe. Researchers at the university are using it to look into the past and to help design the future. If you take your desktop computer, it's capable of know, a certain amount of calculations per second. Um, this machine is capable of 70 plus trillion calculations per second. The machine we have at the moment has the computational power equivalent to about four or five thousand desktops. So if you just put them all together, got them working together, then you would have, you know, the equivalent of a supercomputer. It's allowing one of the teams to look at how electricity is used. If successful, it would mean we'd have computers that didn't need to be rebooted, while other everyday items like mobile phones, microwave ovens and washing machines would all be more advanced and more efficient. And the team will have all their answers a lot quicker, thanks to the supercomputer. Basically, when we run our search on our single desktop computer, you can have problems that take a long, long time to run, like months, even, even years. You, you'll be able to do in one day what, what your machine, your desktop machine, uh, would do in, in 300 days, basically almost one, one year. The researchers are also looking to history and using the supercomputer to help bring it to life. So when Vesuvius erupted and damaged and buried this statue in Pompeii, the archaeologists needed as much brain power as possible to see it for what it really is. While this Neolithic town from 10,000 years ago can be recreated. Along with Stanford University in America, the team will soon help us see the smoke, the dust and the dirt as if we were there. And there's more to come. I think we're very close to producing environments that are indistinguishable <clears throat> from reality. So you'll go into a computer environment where you can touch the wall paintings as they're, they're fresh on the wall. You can feel the heat from the fire in this 10,000 year old building and you can smell the, 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 the herbs in the garden outside. I think we're very, we're very close to that. Within days of being installed, the supercomputer was being used almost to its limit, showing that boundaries will always be pushed. Whatever computational resource we have, we will use. It just means we can improve the work we do. And sometimes we can attack problems that were impossible before. The idea is the computer could help all of us, from designing the most efficient way an Olympian should ride a bike, to developing more efficient household goods. The supercomputer may take all of us into another dimension. Andrew Pate in Southampton for Meridian Tonight.